got two words for you. What they call me, I promise that you never be lonely. So, here we are here. This unit cost me $5. Reason I bought it, Salt Princess told me, Dad, we need to make some money, so buy this unit for five bucks. Little stuff will sell. Like when we go to uh, Stockton Flea Market, this is five, 10 bucks, 10 bucks. Everybody wants to get the CPU out of there, take it apart, fix the motherboard, scrap it or whatever. So there's several five to $10 bills. The office chairs are not all the greatest. Some of them will end up in the dumps. Some of them will end up at the flea market. We're about to undo this. We're about to see what we got for $5 and what we're going to turn it into. There's a roaming creepy bear. Look at this. This is almost cool enough to keep for my Halloween decorations. The back loaded. Now we will fill up all the shelf with all the small stuff. They're digging through all the computer stuff, getting it kind of loaded in there. There's a tons of money in these monitors. No, not true. These are computer monitors in a flea market world. Not, we're not in a perfect world. Remember, a $2 keyboard. That is a $5 monitor if we sell them. That is the biggest thing to me is that uh, since day one, we have showed you the reality of selling. See, that's the key to this business is it's not buying a storage unit. Anybody could buy a storage. You can take a monkey, give him five bucks. He can go to an auction and be like, $5. Anybody could do that. The key to the storage business is sales. It is transactions. It is the art of taking this item right here and getting this right out of here, out of somebody's hands. That is the key to the storage business. Transactions making sales. And that is the one thing we always wanna show you is the hard part of this business, getting rid of the stuff. That is most important. They were having uh, office parties. They had a football party, or they had a Rubik's Cube. Let's say they had a Super Bowl party. That's what I'm guessing, so it's Super Bowl party day. Vacuum, totally sucks. $10 sale at the flea market. At the company parties and started leaving clothes somebody left a little bit of shorts we got some pants we got a sweater we got this must be the lost and found bag steve madden more office party stuff decoration oh spider this is so far one of the more intriguing boxes to me don't ask me why but a little bit of scrap Recovery, hard drives, etc., etc. This is kind of cool. Witch's Cauldron, fog machine. That is nice. I spent a lot of time in my life dealing with witches and seeing through the fog. This is, I know a lot about these. This is, this is nice. Oh, I'm keeping that. Maybe, maybe we're keeping that. Doesn't fit our Disney theme. This tire is flat, darn near brand new, decent tread. Minimal tread. One of them has a black rim spare. So uh, this should be like a hundred, hundred and fifty dollars right here because of the three rims. I'm gonna say like a hundred. We're not gonna get carried away. Ooh, got a snake. I know a lot of snakes. Snakes are hard to spell out in the grass, but you know, if you try real hard, you can always shake them out. You know why? Because you just need to be the scarecrow with the brain. Whoo! A lot more Halloween stuff. That's kind of cool what we got here. Little bloody bodies and parts. And this is just too coincidental. Found this safe. We'll see if we have anything inside of it. As well, end up with a little bit of trash from this unit. I'm gonna put these up for free. These should move pretty quick at that price. This thing was almost impossible for me to get over. Being the mover that I am, it took me a couple times. What I did was I tried every side and realized this side over here was the heaviest side to kick over from that way. Like every other way, I couldn't get the weight over all by myself doing this candy vending machine. This is kind of what made me buy the unit for five bucks. This has got to be worth at least 200 bucks. It's got this thing drilled out. So they're using screws to hold it together. And the plug has been cut. Other than that, it looks to be in good shape. And uh, I think we're gonna uh, at least get a little bit of money on this piece. Holy heart attack, we got spiders and bats. Why is the universe showing me all these negative creatures today? Like everywhere I look is a negative creature. 
universe, what are you trying to tell me today? Look, we got people in cages, dollar store, decorations. Got a pumpkin and a Frankenstein. That's probably actually 15 bucks right there for that. Actually, it's, yeah, that's gotta be at least 15 bucks for these two. Well, what in the hells is this? Look at that. I bet uh, George would love that. Y'all watch the Hales. They always be finding these swords, and George loves those. I'm going to save this. Maybe one day we could fence together. I'm going to save this. Keep it in my storage for now. I'm going to flood the marker with office chairs, so we're going to go with this right here. Neat right here. Kind of stuff I just hanging out in my storage. And somebody moved out of their storage, and this is what I ended up with. Nice little futon, kind of cool, not bad, and a nice little table. All right, much as, um, I don't even know what to say, because I, let's see if there's anything in here. Let's just see if there's anything in this safe. But we will give it a try. We're gonna pause that and we're gonna get more tools. That's what we're gonna do. All right, so we're gonna reconvene here now. We went and got a screwdriver and a hammer. That's the best thing we can come up with. Now we're gonna try this again. Darn it. Nothing. Now y'all know that um I am blah, blah, blah. now y'all know that I am one to uh I love safes, I live for safes. Uh I have one of the probably largest cash treasure finds on YouTube for opening a safe. You guys know I'm very passionate about opening safes, but the reality is this is the way the average safe is in a storage unit. Don't get me wrong. I've proven to a T that there is much to find in them, but don't think that every safe has something in it. I'm, I'm telling you because I've bought over a thousand storage units myself that most safes don't have anything in it. Just like that. So don't let that discourage you. Keep chasing your dream. You know what I mean? Go for it. Treasure hunt. Don't let that stop you though, because you got to keep, you got to keep pursuing it. If, there, if the first safe it gets uh, empty, Get another unit, get another safe. Keep trying, keep trying until you get it. That's what we're doing. We're trying to, right now, myself, my, my goal is to, uh, I want to find another safe to open up with that something exciting in it. That's how
how we live it. Don't be mad.